that to brace yourselves for a hike in the prices of selected goods as the SIS duty amendment act goes into effect today as well as the income tax amendment act these two taxes were passed by parliament together with the growth and sustainability act despite fierce resistance by the minority in parliament and industry parliamentary affairs correspondent Kweku Asante has more the excise duty, growth and sustainability levy and income tax amendment acts are going into effect today. The taxes were opposed by the minority in parliament and industry players but were passed anyway. In particular, the excise duty amendment act imposes a 20% tax on mineral water, non-alcoholic beer, energy drinks, fruit juices and other non-alcoholic drinks. There will also be a 50% tax on spirits including aquatishi cigarettes and e-smoking devices. The Income Tax Amendment Act provides that winnings from betting, lottery and games of chances will also now be subject to a 10% withholding tax at the point of payout. Deputy Finance Minister Beno Siasari defended the tax measures. What government is seeking to do is to make sure we put some percentage on sugary items like the fruit juice that contains sugar. That is what government seeks to do here. So government is also looking at protecting the health of its citizens. Minority leader Dr. Kisela Tufosin, who led his group's opposition, said the taxes will worsen the plight of the ordinary Ghanaian. Meanwhile, Guta says it will pass on the cost to consumers. The business that we do, we do not do in isolation. We do with the consuming public. So whatever affects the business community, um, the replant effect goes to the uh, consumer. These taxes have been touted as key to revitalizing the economy. The consumer certainly will be feeling the impact of these new taxes because the cost will be passed on to them. But how much and many more of these taxes can they bear? Executive Director of the Consumer Protection Agency, Kofi Kapito, is worried about the turnout of events. He spoke to my colleague, Benes Abobeidu Lanza, on News Desk. I'm saying is, look, we live in a country, right, where government goes and borrows money from international markets. And the government brings it back instead of putting it into a better use for the money to generate uh, returns so that they can pay the money that they borrow back. We put it in the social intervention, places that we cannot even collect or make revenue out of it. Look, what I'm saying is the consumer in Ghana today, it is that the standard is very, very critical because we are being pushed all aspects. And if you push anybody, against the wall and they hit the wall they won't have anywhere to go but to come back at you my issue is government should be responsible that's the reason why we vote for a government i don't expect government to make mistakes where it is clear that 90 percent of Ghanaians, apart from the government and his appointees don't see that time has come for government to cut down on this expenditure mm. in any civilized economy the first thing government does is to look at themselves and say, look, let me cut down first so that the rest of the people will support me. I'll give you an example. Look, in the United Kingdom, it got to a time that they wanted to increase the salaries of the prime minister and parliamentarians. Independent body is the one that reviews that uh, salary arrangements. At that time, Parliament has passed the law to cut down on social immunities for the people of the United Kingdom. The independent body said that it is not going to increase salaries for the prime minister and his appointees. In Ghana, rather, they increase their salaries. Okay, they don't stop flying business class, buying land cruises, living in government uh, uh, bungalows rent-free, mm. electricity-free water free. So the question is, how do you pay the money back? And then you tell me the consumer who hasn't done anything. So now people's investment has been touched. Uh, 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 things that were benefiting Ghanaians, we don't even have it anymore. But the government is afraid. And that's why I say that the government of Ghana, including the local governments, are very, 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 very much afraid because maybe they own the properties. Why can't we say we are going to do proper property valuation and tax properties well? In the country that properties are being sold, $5 million, $2 million, $1 million, half a million dollars, 
and the property rates on them are, is not even equivalent to even 1% of the value of the property.